Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here for Block SMP episode 15, I think. I have no idea, but this should be fun. I have an idea of what I want to do for my mega base now. And it took a lot of thinking and inspiration. Not really. I was like off of Minecraft for about like a week. So a lot of stuff has actually happened on Block going around around the place. It's probably all been in videos by now by the time this video comes out. But before we talk about what I'm doing for the mega base, because I'm going to be doing that or starting it in today's episode, which is super duper exciting. I want to go check my shop stocks that we built in my last episode. And it's basically a storage shop and you couldn't go in unless you buy something. So whoever went in must have buy bought something. Also, some of the copper is oxidizing. I've never actually seen that before. Anyways, looks like we have a diamond here. No diamonds there. Some diamonds there, which is not bad, and no diamonds there. All right, those are all very good prices for things, so make sure to shop there if you haven't already. That message was directed to all the members, of course. All righty, so my idea for what I want to do for my mega base is going to be a giant tree, like right here where the spruce tree is, but I'm going to have to break away from up here a little bit to be able to fit it, I think, and... Uh, yeah, it should be kind of cool. I think I may have to get rid of this rock and this rock, which we'll do in a third person helps in a sec. But yeah, I think a giant tree. I'm not too sure what type of tree. You know, this is the first video since I did not start a schedule. So I have no idea when I want this video to come out. It's just I'm recording and whenever I feel like it's ready to come out, I'll post it. So yeah, if you didn't know, I'm taking a break over winter break and I'm also stopping the schedule. So no more YouTube videos uh, that are being published at certain times. And if you want to find my reasoning on that, it will be located at the end of One Block Skyblock episode four. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on into trying to tear out this big giant rock right here and i don't know this is like a water thing so that might be a little difficult to tear out so i guess we just have to build the tree over here so i'm just gonna tear out that little rock here like carve into it a little bit to give me more room for my build so let's get into a third person time lapse where i do that <laughs> Um, I mined it, so yeah, that's whatever. Oh, I dropped a rocket. Anyways, there's a major conflict ahead of us with this. Um, well, first of all, I gotta get rid of this dripstone area because we're basically gonna do it this big, I think. But the problem is with a tree being that big, I need a lot of wood. Now, what type of wood do I want to make it out of? Because that's going to affect how long this is going to take. So we can do spruce wood because that would be probably the easiest one to gather. But I don't really want it to be so dark or else you can't really see it. How does... Huh, how does if it was to be stripped? You know, I think stripped isn't that bad. But it's going to be difficult to build, just easier to gather. I gotta think about this for a sec. For a tree this big, I feel like oak would be the nicest looking. It's just nobody has that much oak wood. So stripped spruce might be okay. Because I want it to be like a willow tree. And I feel like that would make it look pretty nice. And just very bushy. And I'll throw a few concept arts or something on the screen now. So you guys get a little idea of what I want to do with this. So yeah, basically I just want to make a giant tree. Just so I can leave my mark in this cave before we end up leaving it. Because I have a feeling we may leave it not too long from now. This may even be the last episode we're in it. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is stripped spruce wood. And then for leaves, maybe we'll do azalea leaves. Because they don't actually change depending on what biome you're in. But other leaves do. Because this is a mountain biome. So if I were to do oak leaves, I feel like it would look 
not the greatest. So we're gonna do azalea leaves. So let's do some resource gathering in a little montage where I get some spruce wood and azalea leaves. All right, so I've gotten a bunch of flowered azalea bushes and azalea bushes, a little over a shulker box full, and then I also got some spruce logs for our build, and I think we're pretty much have the materials we need. All right, we should probably get started with building sometime soon. So I'm gonna start off by trying to make this land a little bit nicer, getting rid of the dripstone and maybe adding some moss and making it a little more green and also maybe moving these i'm not too sure if i want to move them or just like have them on the edges of the tree because the tree is going to be like right here i think so yeah, i'm gonna add some moss and terraform this a bit so it turns out you can't actually bone meal moss onto dripstone and this thing is covered in dripstone so i'm gonna have to manually remove the dripstone now ugh All right, I've got a little area mossed up, as you can see. I may detail it a little more after we finish the tree, but I kind of want to start getting the shape of the tree in it. And I think I'm going to have, like, these giant roots and then going into the trunk, like, a little further upward. So then you can go underneath where I'm probably going to have, like, a living area. It's going to be like a tree house, to be honest. Wow, that's not an idea I had before. I don't really know what I'm doing with this, but I'm going to wing it. So, you know, let's get started. All right. So first things first, I'm going to change all of my logs into wood, basically by crafting it like so, because I feel like I don't want the bark side. Actually, you know what? Now that I think of it, <laughs> now that I think of it, these are going to be stripped. So you won't be able to tell. Maybe, you know, I'm not going to craft into these. I... It's too late, but yeah, they're going to be stripped anyways, so I'm going to have it just be those when we get off of the root parts. I think I want a root coming up there, 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 and there. And basically they go into a center point, which can be like right here, I guess. Uh, is this too many? Is this too far? How big is this going to be? I'm so... I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, I think this is going to be nice. Uh, maybe we'll have another one right here, actually. But now, basically, I'm just going to have 
some logs going towards them from the center. So this is basically going to be the roots coming off from this point, if you guys know what I mean. Alright, here we have the roots of our tree trunk. Just imagine they're a little more detailed and also imagine they're stripped because this whole thing is going to be stripped because I don't want the wood to be so dark and it'll basically help complement the leaves a bit more. Alright, so now we're basically gonna thicken up this part up here, and then we're gonna have our trunk be over here. So, basically we're just gonna have to build this up a bit. Alright, once I get to a height that I don't hate, then I'll start branching off and have a bunch of branches going outwards. And then after that, we'll basically get onto the leaves. It's not that long, and to be honest, I kind of want it to be a little bit bigger, so I may have to edit it a little bit. So then we start to build out our branches onto the sides and up and down and all around and just like work on that. Once we have our main layer of branches, we're actually going to build up and add a few more going upwards so that we can have a little bit of like a, so that we can have a little bit more of a canopy and uh, Basically, we just build outwards and up a little bit more, and it'll just round off the top, I think, when we do add leaves. And then the last thing we gotta do is to strip all the wood, and that might take me a long time, actually, because there's a lot of logs here that are unstripped, and I probably should have stripped it before I actually added the logs, but oh well, we gotta do it now. Alright, looking at this now, I feel like we might need another layer of branches because it feels like this is way too high up for how it just doesn't feel right. I don't know why. I think what's wrong is that this log is too skinny and also it's too tall. All right, I think this is fine for our branches. It doesn't look that bad, but I think it can still have work. It's just, I think the leaves will definitely make it look better. So yeah, it should be fine. Now comes the hard part where we have to add the leaves, and uh, I'm not excited for that. But we'll third person time lapse it, and also at the end, later on, we'll probably have to do some terraforming down here. I don't know. This isn't really going to be like a base, because like I can't do anything in here. But it's like a build, you know? Like, this isn't really a base, like you can't live in it, but it's a cool build. So, yeah, it's not the biggest, but I think it does look, it will look nice. Alrighty, let's start with the leaves. Alright, I have completed the tree, and I think it's looking great. Here's a cool viewing point. Yeah, it looks amazing. The roots do make it look like a mangrove tree, kind of, to be honest. But, yeah, I think the final details we gotta add is some glow berries that will hopefully grow downwards. And, yeah, I'm gonna dot these in around the area, and hopefully it adds a nice touch. You can't actually... This might be a little harder because you can't actually put them on the leaves, so I might have to place them in specific areas. But yeah, I'm going to put some glow berries and maybe some vines and other things like that, and I think it'll be done. Maybe I'll put some glow lichen around the tree trunk as well. Also, I've added some leaves down here. I may also add some rocks and flowers and maybe some other things like glow lichen and stuff to give it more detail. So yeah, basically I'm gonna add all the final details and the entire thing should be done. All right, I think the tree looks amazing, partially kind of finished, uh, except for down here. I feel like it needs a better way 
to connect to the floor around it and like transition from just being this uh, it's not the greatest so i'll be working on that a little bit off camera but i think i want to take a break and by take a break i mean go sign up for this chris kringle christmas game that apparently is somewhere down here i think so let's see here's a chest with a book and quill what does it read welcome to chris kringle you're invited to play and get free stuff game ends december 23rd 2021 how to play <laughs> Enjoy and have fun. Alright, so it's pretty simple, I guess. And that means I'm just gonna have to get together a choker box of good stuff. So why not do that now? Because I think I've had enough of this tree for one episode. Also, what is this? Netherrack. Interesting. Anyways, this tree does look kind of great. <laughs> Anyways, for this, I think I'll need some azalea leaves because I have a lot of them. And I think that they work for a very nice aesthetic. And they're not the most valuable thing in the world, but they're very aesthetic. So I want to use them, sort of. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, but we're gonna have to put some extra good stuff in the middle for it to be worth it. Because this is kinda flower this is like these are just leaves so they're not precious at all so i'm gonna grab maybe some totem a totem a singular totem because i don't have many of those uh what else i'll add two stacks of wood in there actually you know what i want to add in five ender chests on either side like so i think this is fine right that's a good amount of stuff all right let's see that's should be fine. You know, nobody's gonna want these flowered azalea leaves, but it's really aesthetically pleasing, so like, you know. Anyways, this is probably gonna be the worst gift since there's not very much valuable stuff in it, but there you go. Whoever gets it, hope you enjoy. But you know what? That Chris Kringle episode is gonna have to wait till probably sometime after Christmas, uh, but that is gonna be the end of the episode, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys don't sick of me, you can watch the video on screen right now. Or else, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.